Hello guys, welcome back to another video in my tutorial series using Super Multiplayer Shooter Templates from the Unity Asset Store. Uh, I do apologise if you hear any snoring, my dog is currently asleep next to me. It is not me falling asleep. Uh, so today I'm going to go through using the tournament, no not the tournaments, the rankings leaderboards using CBS as well, which we went through in the first episode. Um, so what we are going to do is add the pre-made sort of shortcuts bar from CBS in their assets. We're going to get rid of all of the shortcuts we're not going to use when we're just going to use the, the rankings one and we're going to change it so we're going to make a new stat so in Super Multiplayer Shooter whenever we get to kill it's going to add a new stat called kills and then we're going to change the rankings from the default which is your player's XP we're going to change that to kills so what we're going to need open is we're going to start by implementing the kills when we get a kill so you want to open up player controller and you want to scroll down and look for this bit in void die and it's essentially well it's giving you the points per kills so all we're going to do is we're going to add in here actually no what we'll do is at the start we need to go up to the top because we need to add in a couple of things from the documentation which is if you look on the CVS documentation on the leaderboard module there is all these things that you can actually sort of copy and paste into your your code that will literally grab the, the parts from the CVS so we're going to want to add statistic point which is adding the custom statistics. So we're going to want to do copy the private I leaderboard leaderboard module, and we'll put that into player controller. We'll do it. We'll just add it after here. Then we want to copy this into our stat. Start. There we go. And start. We can just add it there. I did forget. We also need to add using CBS at the top. Which is why I was just getting those errors. Uh, we're going to want to make a statistic. So for kills, uh, actually, we can do that in. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to grab this this part right here which is literally going to set the, uh, the kills well add the statistic scroll all the way back down to the, the die function if we can find it here we go so there's the die function so we want to stay within if the game isn't over uh, we can Just thinking of where I've added it to mine. And probably add it after this. So we want to do if this is probably a bit overkill. Maybe killer PC dot is player hours and. We probably don't need to add this photo on view is mine. So we probably don't need the photo on view as mine as well. But we'll do it just in case. Uh, then we'll copy in that part. You're gonna get errors because we need to add on add statistic. We also need to add the statistics. So statistic name. Uh, do, 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 do. Statistic. Sorry about trying to keep spelling. Statistic name equals. Oh, why can't I spell? Equals kills. Uh, no, I 
don't like when it's not formatted properly. Uh, point. And the point is we want to add one kill. So what we're going to do is we're going to add to the statistic kills with the points, which we're going to set one per kill. Uh, and then we need to grab the on add statistics function, which is also in here. Literally just grab this whole little bit. And then we need to wait until we're out of that part, which is the die. Just follow the curly braces down. We can add it straight after this. Let's create a little gap, paste it in there. Look at that. So now every time you get a kill, you should add one kill to the kill statistic. So if we go back to here, what we want to do is we want to now get the leaderboards. Now CBS has prefabs. Uh, there is a leaderboard prefab, but what I want to do is I want to get the icons panel. So to find out where that is, it's right here. So if we open up our main panel, uh, we've got the buttons there. We're just going to grab this icon panel and put this into there open it up and you can hide the background there you go okay just to make things a little bit neater there is that the photon text at the bottom i'm just going to add it up the top let's put it up the top as well and i'm going to hide all of these panels that don't actually actually i'm going to get rid of that background no i don't okay we'll leave that for now uh, we're going to hide all of these that we're not intending to use, so shop, inventory, loot boxes, chat, friends, clan, tournament, daily bonus, roulette, matchmaking, and play. Uh, so yeah, select them all, just hide them. We're just going to go with the rankings for now. What you can do with this as well is add the grid layout group components. that at the minute up in there Let's see where is it? I'm gonna go middle center and just shrink it down and then any new one when you unhide one of them we'll just space them out you can change the spacing and the spacing let's give it oh, might need a bit more spacing than that okay 50 space that do so then each time you unhide one of these it will add it there so we've got the leaderboards if we open it up we have there is a script somewhere it might be uh, actually it's easier just to uh, find it on here leaderboards we're going to want the leaderboard user we can just double click that to open and what we want is the leaderboard user script no Seconds. Uh, I'm also just comparing this. Let's want to get leaderboard. Might not be that one. apologize for this I've changed this on my personal one and this is my test one I did it a couple of days ago and I've forgotten which scripts that I edited it in
Here we go. Okay, so it's in players leaderboard. So yes, we found it. You can change this with the clans and so on that are shown. Uh, yeah, so the different ones. If you just find the the right script for clan leaderboards, friends leaderboard, you can change the statistics that you want to view for each one. So on here, it's going to be at the we're going to be editing this part, the get level leaderboard, because we don't want to get the level. We want to get leaderboard by statistic. Statistic fast. Just copy and paste that whole part. I can't remember it's formatted differently. Uh, get rid of module from there because we've already got leaderboards referencing. Okay. Then we want to do statistic. We need to set the statistic name. So, uh, statistic. We're going to spell it again. Statistic name is kills. Make sure it is, if you've done the capital K of the other script we were in, do it here. It needs to be the same. There you go. So that's now going to grab, instead of grabbing it from the player XP, it should grab it by the leaderboard statistics. Then, with any luck, if we go back to the game. Uh, if we want to log in, we want to test this. Yes, we'll save. Okay, yeah, we didn't really make any changes, but we'll save it. Please work. Here we go. Stand so. Oh, we also need to affix this name as well. So we need to change this. But so if we open up this, this is where all of the uh, leaderboards will appear. If you just want to get some kills quick. Apologies for the sound. Oh, I'm not very good at this, obviously. Oh, I can mute the audio. That'd be fun. So that's one kill. Did I get that kill? May have done. No, I'm still on one kill. I'm really bad at this game, guys. Let's just chuck some grenades down. Might get a kill. There's a kill. So I've got two kills. And then if we quit to the main menu. We'll open up our ratings. Look, we got two kills. And it will automatically load that with everyone that's got the kills. And obviously it will display your position. You can edit this in the leaderboard player prefab. I think it was. We can have a look. You get the CVS prefabs, leaderboards, uh, leaderboard user. So you can edit what the uh, first second and third medals look like you can see the uh, the text of the number you can edit the text of the name and the way that the numbers are displayed but um yeah essentially that's that's that so we now have no I can't even spell right it's not that one it's main menu So you can, if you just want to organize things, you can move that out of the way. So it looks a bit cleaner. Uh, in the next episode, we'll probably go through clans. Well, actually, we'll be going through uh, the easiest way to edit all of these, maybe. But uh, I will also be working on a fix for the name as well, because I believe CBS has a renaming uh, feature in it as well. So yes, thank you very much, guys. Uh, maybe if you uh, want to come back to watch some more just uh subscribe to the channel i do sorry uh, i do apologize for the amount of errors that i say it's just a habit but uh, thank you very much for watching bye